Hi everyone, this is Brian, your Honda Connection from Della Honda in Plattsburgh. I've got the first two 2018 Ridgelines to hit our lot here with me today, and I thought we'd do a quick comparison between the two. So this silver one here is a sport model, and the black one is an RTLT model. Now the sport model is actually the lowest trim level you can get in all-wheel drive for this year. The base RT model now only comes in two-wheel drive, which is front wheel for the Ridgeline, since they go from front wheel to all-wheel drive back and forth as need be. And the RTS model has been discontinued for both all-wheel and two-wheel drive. So all-wheel drive base model is now the Sport, which in 2017 only came in black. For 2018, it now comes in black, silver, and white. And the RTLT. Now all Ridgeline trims have the same size cab, have the same size bed, and mechanically are the same as far as the suspension, 6-speed automatic transmission, and 3.5 liter V6 engine with 280 horsepower, which is about a 30 horsepower increase over the first generation Ridgeline. The all-wheel drive models also come right from the factory with the towing package, the hitch, 7-pin wiring harness, and automatic transmission cooler. They have a 5,000 pound towing capacity. One of the most unique things about the Ridgeline and that owners seem to really love is its unique bed setup with in-bed trunk. Now the tailgate does open like a normal tailgate and it comes right from the factory with this tough bed liner material. So no need for a spray in or drop in bed liner. Does have eight tie downs mounted in the bed and integrated lights as well. Very small wheel well intrusions. So lots of room, you can fit a sheet of plywood flat in there. And then we got a little storage bin on the side here. On the RTL-E and Black Edition, there's also a power outlet in that storage bin. And right here where it says release, you can also swing the tailgate open to the side which gives you easy access to the in-bed trunk. Now this trunk is watertight and lockable. It's a great place to keep your valuables. And a lot of people use it as a cooler. It does have a drain plug there. The spare tire and tools are all protected from the weather inside here. And this tray does slide out as well for easy access to those. And if you're concerned about the spare tire being mounted in here and then having cargo in the bed, and being able to get to the spare tire, you can mount that spare tire in the bed and it bolts right in to that spot right there. That little plug pops out and you can bolt the spare tire in there. So the bed on all the ridge lines are exactly the same as that. The back seat, also the same. Let's take a quick look in here. Of course, some have leather, some have cloth, but other than that, they are the same. The rear seat folds up. So you have lots of under seat storage there and then folds right back down. So let's hop inside the sport model and uh, we'll take a quick look around and we'll do a comparison of the interior of both. They both do have the smart key system where you can unlock and lock just by having the key on you. So the sport model comes with cloth seats, manually adjusting seat. See the layout of the dash there. They all have the digital speedometer and they all have Bluetooth and a backup camera. The backup camera on the sport model shows up on this screen here. And then you can change the camera view toggle between the three different modes by pushing this button here. And they all have the terrain management button here. And when we push that, changes between normal, snow, mud, and sand mode. And that changes the way the all-wheel drive works and the way the vehicle stability assist work. Quick look at the interior here. We do have USB ports as well. And now let's hop inside the RTLT model.
and they all have LED daytime running lights. So the RTLT does have leather and a power driver seat. Also adds the large touch screen, heated seats and heated side mirrors. You get some more USB ports. And like I said, a larger display for that backup camera. And then it also has the side lane watch camera as well, which comes on with the right directional or by pushing the side button, side lane watch camera button right there. So that's a quick overview between the 2018 Ridgeline Sport and Ridgeline RTLT model. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And again, this is Brian, your Honda Connection from Della Honda in Plattsburgh.